The mean value theorem. If f of x is differentiable on the interior from a to b, then there must be some value c in between a and b, such that the derivative at c is equal to the average rate of change on a, b. What does that mean? Well, consider some function f of x from a to b. The requirement to be able to use the mean value theorem is that f of x has to be differentiable. So that's number one. f has to be differentiable everywhere in between a and b. Now, if you look at the average rate of change from a to b, what you're doing is you're finding a secant line. The average rate of change on a comma b is the slope of the line from a comma f of a to b comma f of b, this orange line right here. What the mean value theorem states is that if your function is differentiable in between a and b, then there must be some value, we'll call it c, such that the derivative at c, or the tangent line, is equal to the average rate of change from a to b. One way to think about this is if the slope of the secant line is equal to the slope of this tangent line, then these two lines must be parallel. But in reality, what this means is that we can find some value, c, in between a and b, such that the derivative at c is equal to the rate of change from a to b. And that is what the mean value theorem states.